Todd Lightyear. Hey guys, how's it going? We just... Are you ready to fight the claw? Are you ready? You fail! Shit! Oh my god! Fuck! That's stop, what happens. Stop cursing. No! Screw that! Stop cursing. Oh, uh, where do I go? I forget. Oh! Go where the blue thing is. The blue dotted line. I've got it. They're moving dots with its dots. No, no, you know what it looks like? It looks like a blue candy cane design. It does! So that was fun. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oh my god, if you failed, uh, Jack, I would have killed you so, a Alex, lot. So, Alex, according to you, Naughty Dog only gets worse because you don't like The Last of Us. Is it just me, or does he remind me, or does he remind you of an armored Barney? I don't see it. I do. Oh my God, that you can just barely make that. His roar sounds like a burr. You know what they should have included as kind of a bonus feature to this collection? They should have included the trilogy movie wow. with the uh, Daxter commentary. I love that movie. It's actually three. Whatever, but you know what they should do? They should release kind of a second album of that with uh, Jack X, uh, Daxter, <coughs> and Lost Frontier. No, that should be a sequel. Yeah, that's why I said like a second volume. Volume two. That's what they do for a lot of Mystery Science Theater DVDs, like Mystery Science Theater Volume 12. Yeah. What the hell? Glitch! Oh, oh thank God. Jesus, that was so dumb. So yeah, all you have to do is dodge his boulders, get the blue ego, run up, run up, and hit the and hit the thing, and hit him with the yellow ego. That's basically this entire boss fight in that show. This lava reminds me of the reminds me of the lava designs in the old school Spyro games. I never played the old school Spyro games. Oh my god, you're missing out. Those were awesome. I never cared for them. They were they weren't my favorite PS1 games. They were one of them. Favorite PS1 games were Tarzan. Really? Yeah, that was okay, but Spyro is so much better. Which makes me even more sad. Oh my god, that scared me. It makes me even sadder to know that he's doing Skylanders now. Well, he's not. Yes, he is. Skylanders Giants is similar. Yeah, but Spyro is still in it. Really? Yes. And they're also doing that crossover. I think they're also doing that crossover with Disney Infinity. Remember I, told, remember I told you that? I think it's this massive uh, Disney MMO. I could be wrong, but it's this big Disney game using a bunch of characters, like, and they're doing a crossover with Skylanders, like, like Spyro's reputation is being overshadowed by the likes of Jack Sparrow and Buzz Lightyear. Like, are you serious? In fact, one of the commercials for that actually revealed a flawed design for the Lone Ranger because it, because one of the commercials was advertising, I think, some DLC character, um, Tonto, and and it just showed Tonto and Jack Sparrow looking each other, looking at each other, and kind of mirroring each, other, each other's movements. And I'm like, they're pointing out the flaw in design. I mean, the irony the is stunning. What? The irony is stunning. They were actually pointing out and satirizing in their own game. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Jack, not not Disney Infinity. Oh my god. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you. You might be interested to hear this. No! I'm recording, we are not talking about movies. So I'm I'm talking about Jack and Daxter. Okay, go. Be headed for a 
Okay, I'm going to go back and get all the precursor orbs later, cause right, cause right now. Got a time crunch. Yeah. Keep bumping into walls. And they're above you. That you can't get me. But uh, originally, after Uncharted. Oh. oh. Originally, after Uncharted, Naughty Dog was gonna go back to the Jack and Daxter series. Why didn't they? Well, because. Oh no no. When they were planning it out and and kind of deciding on the style, they were like, no, this is not true to to our original vision. I mean, this is not the same series that fans fell in love with, so they just decided to go for a survival game like The Last of Us. Was that what they were going to do with Jack and Daxter? I have no idea what they were going to do with Jack and Daxter. All they've, all they've said is that it would not have been true to the original games. Which... If that's the case, then I'm kind of happy they stayed away. But on the other hand, I really want another Jack and Dash game. I I'm satisfied with the series as it is. So yeah, it's my favorite series of games, but still, I want another one. Would you want too much and give too little? How about that? I also want another Uncharted game. They just came out! I'm not supposed to want another one right after the third one comes out. Although, That's... although I did kind of get my get my fix somewhat with um, uh, Golden Abyss. That is another one. It's not like it's not made by the same guys. It's not. Well, it's still by Naughty Dog. No, it's not. Ah! Not by Naughty Dog. How do they get the rights? I don't know, I guess the same rights that Ready at Dawn got to make the Daxter. Yes! Zoom zoom! The same rights that High Impact Games got to make the uh, Lost Frontier. You've just come to the Detonator. The Red Sage's lab is just ahead. Go turn on the teleport gate so we can join you. This is the area where I missed the, the power cell. That's, it's the one like near the spider cave. <laughs> now the reason I'm going here now is because I'm going to need to teleport to get all the precursor orbs. Without a time constraint, mind you. Someone actually hacked Jack 2 so that it wasn't a time. That, that it took place yeah, in, the back, in the environments of Jack 1. Only here, child. The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Doll? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets. And now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes. The silos. They will be open, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was Gaul? The same Gaul who's supposed to change me back? Gaul? 
We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your doer Tichio should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Bitch! Don't tell me what to do ever again. Except for in the second game. Great balls of eco. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider chain. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider chain, right? And of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! This lurker boy. Forget. I gotta go to Blue Sage's hut and go back through to the mountain pass. You could just go back through manually. No. I'm sure you guys are eager to get on with the adventures. Are you leaving the Yes. Go away. But for now, oh my god, my head. But for now, we gotta go. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I just realized. We still have to get this piece of shit. Oh. God, no. I still don't know how to get this thing. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, hold on. I think I pick it. Okay, okay. I think I might know how to get this. Hold on, hold on. Got to get a straight shot. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was close. Yes! Woohoohoo! Okay, now I have to go through. Oh, I'm so glad to have, have that off my chest. Okay, let's go. Let's get this over with because I don't like these land speeder zoomer sections. Oh, 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 don't fall. Luckily, we don't have to defeat Claw again because that would just be shitty. What time are we at? 13 minutes. What the fuck? I think we can make it through once. But that's it. And I don't think we're gonna get every single one of these. Uh. There she is. Just as reference, how many do- Okay, seven. That's not that bad. Oh, wow. That was great. Well, since I died, let's do this in the next episode. Ep episode, you know what I mean. See ya.